great worm is nothing but bone and memories. The dragon's spirit floods your mind and memory in a great torrent of power. He is with you. He is within you. He is you. Words that spill from your mouth are not yours, but the worms. I am Ansor, heart of the gate, butchered in flesh, risen in spirit. Ansor wends his way through your mind like an unstoppable river. Your body is unmoving, yet thought flows effortlessly between you. The spirit pauses. And you feel the astral prism stir. Ansor senses the Emperor's presence within it. Answer me, Facey. Why have you come? A deep sigh resonates within you. The torrent stills, only disturbed by the dragon's next words. Brack, my words aren't meant for you. They're meant for him. The Emperor stirs in the astral prism, then in you, calm, curious, and detached. Bolduran, your presence has stirred me, as it ever did. I am awakened. Answer, it's been too long. Alderaan? No. I don't believe it. We knew each other once. Long ago. We crossed the Kalim together and sailed Yal Tengri. We built a city by the sea. Ansa was my friend. Friend. Yes. And more. Until you killed me. Have you come to dance on my bones, Alderan? Was slaying me not satisfaction enough? Satisfaction? No. You left me no choice. You had every choice. You were becoming illithid. I offered you merciful death. You chose to fight. And now you bring your thrall before me. How far has the great Balderan fallen? Stillness. Ansur's consciousness hovers just above yours, searching, seeing. Dear Ansur. Enough! I gave you everything, Balderan. And you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Witness, Baldoran. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. 